Hello everyone, welcome back to Growing Green. Today I am back at you with another update on my snail vine seedlings. So the last time I filmed this video was about a month ago from today. Today is the 10th of December and the last update I believe was on the 13th of November. So since then I haven't really done much. I've just let them kind of grow and get a little bit bigger and I have popped them all into the greenhouse now so I'm going to give you an update and show you what they look like. Here are my snail vines. Look at them, they're so green and looking beautiful and luscious and disease free and it's so awesome. And as you can see, they are lining the front of my greenhouse. The ones down this end are the ones that were all originally in my greenhouse to begin with. They were all grown in soil, so they of course are nice and big and healthy and strong. And this one here is even growing a little dendril. These ones here are all the ones that I grew from the bagging method and honestly they don't look much different. So now that they're all growing really well in my greenhouse, I'm watering them every second day maybe just to keep the soil nice and moist because I read that they like sitting in moist soil. All I'm doing now is I'm just, you know, taking care of them, letting them grow big. One of them has already started to grow a little vine thing but that's my next problem. I need to find somewhere to grow them. I was thinking I have a large fence down the back of our house. I'm thinking of putting up some trellis there and growing them up that. I think that's probably my best option. But if I'm going to do that, I need to put some soil down there because it's basically all rocks. If you haven't watched part one of this video, you definitely should. I'll link it in the description box down below. You should go check it out because then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But um, baggy method compared to popping them in the soil straight off, I think either is just as good. Whatever suits your environment, whatever suits your time needs, your space needs. I'm going to leave this update here for now because I am filming a couple of other videos today and there's not a lot else to say today apart from to show you what they look like. But I will come back for you as soon as I have another update. Hello! Welcome back to my garden. So I have a problem. I have snail vines that are growing out of control, which is great, but they're growing out of control and I have nowhere to put them. Look at this, I don't know if you can tell, but... They're growing out of control, out of my greenhouse. Look, look at that one. I've just come inside to film because it's so hot outside and bright and gary. That's my problem. I have heaps of snail vines and they're growing super well and they're growing way too fast. Honestly, it's been eight days since my last update, which was the 10th of December. It's now the 18th of December and they're just out of control. I need to think plan about where I'm going to put these because they're doing too well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the raised bed next to the greenhouse and I'm going to get some more trellis and put the trellis up there. As you know my garden is teeny tiny because we rent. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put new soil in that bed and I'm going to get some new trellis and build like a this kind of a shape with it and then just grow it up and around it. But yeah I'm going to go outside now and dig in a bit of soil. It's super hot at the moment. I'm not even kidding. It's probably well over 26 degrees. Yes it is 27 degrees today. So I'm going to pop a hat on and I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm going to come back this afternoon because, I don't know if you can tell, but it's way too hot to be gardening. I, I'm just going to have to wait because it's way too hot. Okay, now that it's much later in the day, I can finally continue with my video. As you can see here, my soil bed is all prepped and ready to go. All I need to do is now buy some more trellis and build that and then I can plant them out. But in the meantime, I decided I've done a little bit of research and I'm also going to plant a couple of other crops that I can actually eat for some in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow some radishes.
so that's it for today's snail rain update i'll come back to you maybe tomorrow maybe the next day with an update on building the trail structure see you soon Hello everyone, so it is the 29th of December now and I'm back with another update with my snail vines. Fortunately we had a little bit of a disaster a few days ago where it was like a super hot day and the greenhouse was left closed and they pretty much all shrilled up into nothing. Which really annoys me because they were doing so well. But what I've been doing is I've been cutting off all the dead leaves, watering them well, giving them air, making sure I don't forget the greenhouse and just, you know, trying to look after them as best as I can. I'll show you the damage. This one here and this one here actually did pretty good they came out mostly you know pretty well the leaves didn't get burned and they all come back nicely so that's good but um <laughs> this one here as you can see all the leaves died yeah and also their vines that they were growing have basically all shriveled and browned and died yeah and as you can see this one is brown as well this one's got brown leaves that one's got brown leaves and that one's got brown leaves a little bit of a disaster but we're going to recover from this, I'm going to keep treating them well, and I'm going to plant another row of radishes because they've sprouted up, and I'm going to really get into putting them into the bed because they need it so bad. Good morning everyone, I'm back with another update for my snail vine. Today we are going to put up the structure that's going to be holding them, and I'm going to be planting them out. As you can see in my greenhouse, they're, you know, they've recovered quite a bit, but this one here is going all the way up, and out of the greenhouse so it's definitely time to plant them outside Okay, so as you've seen, we've just put up the structure. As you can see, the sun is coming out now, so we're going to go inside and I'm going to come and build the roof and plant the plants later on in the afternoon. Alrighty, it's now much later in the evening, which means I can now plant them out without the sun, without the hassle. So I'm going to put them in. I'm going to put four in the bed. As you can see, they're all in the ground now, and a lot of them also have vines, so I just wound them up here. Yeah, so hopefully, when I come back in the morning or in the afternoon tomorrow, they will have grabbed on. So there we have it, they're all planted out and ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. Hit the subscribe button and the bell if you wish to. Leave me a comment and let me know if you've ever grown snail mine and tips and tricks you may have. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on Growing Green. Bye.